Um, how about 30? And Chinese people will never tell you no. They'll tell you no, the longest no you've ever heard in your life. Like you just said, the most ridiculous thing they've ever heard in their life. I'll give you 30. No. No. I can't do $30. I sell you $30. Today you come tomorrow, I'll close down. I'm like, all right, well, then give me a deal on the purse, man. I don't want to pay 35 bucks. Okay, one sec. I talked to my wife. One second. Thank you. I'm going. Okay, you seem like nice guy. I give you best price, $34.50. I'm like, that's 50 cents, man. He goes, 50 cents, a lot of money. You save 50 cents here, then maybe you go somewhere else, you save another 50 cents. Then you have one dollar. Then you take your dollar, you go to the dollar store, you buy something else. <laughs> he starts turning into my money manager or something. <laughs> Let me financial plan for you. I'm like, you know what, dude? Forget it. I don't want it. It's not a deal. He starts telling me stuff that has nothing to do with anything. I go, I'm leaving. He goes, hey, be a man. Be a man. Do the right thing. What are you talking about do the right thing? Maybe you don't buy the purse right now. You go some, you walk around the mall, you see something else. You don't buy, you come back, you say, hey. I want the purse for 3450. I say no. You don't get for 3450 now. Price gone up maybe forty dollars. <laughs> Be a man. <laughs> you just can't do business, man. <laughs> we can work together. We just can't work with each other. You know? <laughs> oh man. Good to see black people in the audience too. That's nice. Because it's bright. I mean, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> what, you all of a sudden, you're sensitive black people all of a sudden? What the hell? <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. I grew up around black people. You don't scare me. I grew up around Jamaicans, man. Jamaicans are hard people to grow up around. Any Jamaicans here tonight? They're like the most passive Jamaicans ever. They're like, a uh, bow, bow, lick shot. I, man, a brethren is a Jamaican. Is. <laughs> Quietest Jamaicans in the world. <laughs> Jamaicans are hard people to grow up around. You know why? Because when I was growing up around Jamaicans, you hang around Jamaican people long enough, you feel the need to want to be Jamaican. They just look so cool. Everything about them is cool. When I was a kid, I was like, I wanted to be Jamaican so bad. I started dressing like a Jamaican. I started wearing a little red, yellow, and green belt. And... <laughs> I started talking like a Jamaican. I started listening to reggae music. I started having kids I didn't know about. I did everything that I possibly could. But you know what the shitty thing is? A Jamaican will never act like you. You're never going to see a Jamaican guy that grew up in a bunch of Indian guys walking around going, Hey, baby, wobbling, wobbling. Not gonna happen, you know? <laughs> Felt bad for my dad because he tried fitting in with my Jamaican friends when I was growing up. You don't ever want a man from India trying to speak like a Jamaican at any point during his life. <laughs> my friends would be in the living room, my dad walking, okay, come on, Marlon, move your bumbo clot and go home. <laughs> my dad thought punani was a tropical fruit. <laughs> It is, if you think about it. <laughs> for the older white folks that look confused right now, uh, Panani is the Jamaican word for a woman's... You know what I'm saying? For her pum pum. My dad thought it was a tropical fruit. One time when I was a kid, I was sick, and I was messing around with my dad. He came around and goes, Oh, my God, son, you're sick. What can I get you? I go, Dad... I love Panani. 
My dad went to the Jamaican store. <laughs> hey, lady, where's your punani? <laughs> My son is at home sick. He needs punani right now. Give me two. Is it ripe? Let me squeeze it. No, no, no seeds. <laughs> Nothing in South Africa I heard real African names. My child's gonna get an African name. I don't care. Real African names are wicked, man. I was at this casino in South Africa, right? I'm playing blackjack. <laughs> or African-American jack. All right, I was playing... Um, I'm playing 21, right? And I look, at, I look at the dealer, right? It was an African dude. I think they put this guy there just to confuse you when you're gambling. Because I looked at his name tag, I swear to God, the guy's name was spelt exclamation mark X-O-B-I-L-E. And I'm like, how the hell do you say that? So I'm not from there. I thought I'd take a shot, right? I'm like, yeah, could I get another card there? Sob uh... by I got another card there. So bad. W A. See, because I thought you had to start big, you know, because the exclamation was at the beginning of the name, right? Like if it was a question mark, I'd be like, Dobile. But it was an exclamation, so I'm like, Dobile. And he looks at me and he goes, Please do not yell in the casino. Like, I'm not yelling, man. I'm just trying to say your name. He goes, that is not how you say my name. I go, well, how do you say your name? I swear to God, man. The guy goes, my name is pronounced Bile. <laughs> he had a click in his name. The guy's name was Bile. I don't care. My first child's getting a click in his name. I don't care, man. <laughs> This is my son, Hustle. The guy's name was Bile. It sounds cool when we're just saying it to each other, right? Bile. But think about how that must slow down his sex life, you know? Imagine he's in there with his woman, they're making love. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Say my name. Say my name. Oh, my God. <laughs> Mess up the whole vibe, man. <laughs> went to Italy. Like, Italy was cool, man. You know, it was wicked when I went to Italy. <laughs> this freaked me out. Brown people, you gotta go to Italy. You gotta mess them up. I went to Italy. The Italians thought I was Italian. <laughs> and I didn't have the heart to tell them I wasn't Italian, right? Because it seemed kind of cool to be Italian for a little while. Until they started speaking Italian to me. <laughs> then it just looked like I was retarded, you know? Because <laughs> they're walking out to me on the street. Ah, signore, sono dove cordici, pasco donte, pascatini, 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 Si. Si, man. And when I told the guy I was Indian, he would freak out. Indiano? No, Indiano. Indi no, Indiano. Mario, que cacho va Indiano? No, no, Indiano. Like I told him I was a friggin' ghost or something. No. Because they can't picture Indian people that are just normal over there, you know? In their heads, Indian people are... And we show up and shatter their miserable dream for them. If you guys get a chance to go to Italy, it's cool, man. You don't even need to learn how to speak Italian. That's the good part. All you need to do is learn how to read their hand signals. Because every word in Italian has a hand signal that goes with it. Everything. It's like they all used to be deaf at some point, you know? Everything. Hey, 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 down to you, hey. What the fuck? Did you know that? I swear to God, this in Italian, you know what this means? This is what the fuck in Italian. Right here, this little hand motion is what the fuck. <laughs> they'll look at you and they'll go, hey! <laughs> this 
this is what the fucking Italian. You know what this means in Indian? You want to eat? You want to eat. Imagine an Italian guy walking into an Indian restaurant. <laughs> hey, what the fuck? <laughs>